Today, our school gets down to business. Two classes, one financial fight to the top. Calendars for one pound! Women with a pound. She walked past us earlier. For two best friends, yeah. will this be a chance to show their skill with numbers? Number We're the number one team. One team. Or will their behaviour in class divide them? You know that teachers will separate you, right? Find out in the... I mean, our school. Meet our new Year 7. Sick buckets! It's the most important school year of their life so far. Heckleson. They're all starting here <laughs> together. That level of noise is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> This is some better days. You stink, sir. <laughs> CBBC have filled the entire place with cameras, so you'll get to watch Year 7 every step of the way. Whoa! Stop waving at me! Yeah! Hello, I'm Mr Jones. I'm a maths teacher here at our school, and every time that you're here, I'm going to be here too. Right now, I'm late for a lesson. Excuse me. Come on in. Boom. Mic drop. Numbers make the world go round. One school plus 1,044 students multiplied by 78 awesome teachers equals... Um... Yeah, 81,510. I was about to say that. You may have guessed this, but I love maths. Two, take away nine. Would you get 7x? No. <laughs> well, not bad maths. I hate bad maths. I've got a new project for Year 7 that's going to show them just how amazing numbers can be. We are going to build a business, all right? And so, the idea of this, then, is... So why does it say fiancé? Why oh, it says finance, finance, oh no. Never mind. It doesn't say fiancé. Nima, that no, says finance, not fiancé. It looks like the fiancé from you because... A good they're... business plan always needs fiancé. <laughs> yeah. Right, the idea is this, then. As a class, you have got £100, all right? Oh. Now, with that money, we are going to make some products and we're going to have a big stall and the point of it is to have your group on one side, my other year seven groups on the other side, and to see which group can make the most profit. And it's not just any stall. My two classes will be selling to the public in one of the UK's biggest shopping centres. And every penny we raise is going to the year seven charity, the Mamusi School in Kenya. We need to make sure we've got lots of ideas with things that sell for Beyonce. Go. <laughs> so we need to do cakes. Oh, Everybody loves oh, cakes. Normal cakes. Chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate fudge oh, cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where you could, like, sell sweets, uh, ice cream, uh, if it's a hot day, uh, maybe some smoothies. Oh, we, can, we can do badges. Badges. Oh, no man for 50p. Hair put in salon. There is no way you are touching my beautiful hair. Let's call this class the blue team. But my other class, let's call them the red team. I've given them the same brief. The more ideas we get, the better. And they're busy brainstorming. Books. Books. Bubbles. Bubbles. How can we make bubbles? Books. Trish, we have like a tea and coffee store. A tea and coffee stall, just for people. Just for adults. Because adults yeah. like tea and coffee. Books, anyone? Yes! You know what? There are two students who I reckon will be fantastic at this. Dollar, dollar. Dollar, dollar. Ching, ching. <laughs> Meet Ibrahim and Farid. <laughs> These lads have bags of energy. I describe myself blinging. <laughs> I would describe myself boring. <laughs> Not really boring. Reed, look at Steve here. Sort yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pretty sight, is it? Yeah, 
is it? Six eight. When they put their minds to it, these boys are naturals with the mighty maths. Ten times ten divided by two. Add ten. Add two. Add one. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Wow. Yes. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Well followed. If you give me a sum. Bam, 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 bam. Your two maths today was like lightning. Yeah? You like maths? Yeah. yeah? Favourite, favourite subject. Good. If you have me, I'll make it your favourite subject and keep them more, right? You need maths for every single job in the world. Two boys after my own heart. Fareed and Ibrahim's friendship goes way back. Ibrahim is my best mate. He lives across the room from me. I've known him since uh, I was in year two. He's like a brother to me. A friend should be like, really close to you. And that's for really, that's really close to me. Yo, hi. Yo, what's up? I'm a pop. Sure. He's very, 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 and I mean very, cheeky with me. Come here, then. Dude, that's a hit big mess. Straight back to me. <laughs> he annoys me in like a good way. No, you did it. Oh, Friendships can change a lot in year seven, but I reckon these two will stick together. I keep thinking that you're maybe gonna get different friends. I do have friends, I'm not best friends. Reed will always be my best friend. I promise I will always be friends. Alright. I think me and Ibrahim will be friends forever and ever and ever. I hope that's going to happen. It's brilliant having a best mate. But at school, these boys aren't always focused. Hey, it's the last lesson of the day, and the whole class seems pretty restless. Uh, right, three, two, one. Ready? Excuse me, that should be absolute silence. Okay, do you want to take a new move yourself forward? If you're chatting a second time with Reed, then you're going to be moved. Huh? No. What? Stops. Why did you bring me into it? Okay, because you weren't facing this way, Reed. Yes, I was. Excuse me. And I wasn't Don't talking. answer back. I don't care. Right, wait outside, please. You are not talking to members of staff like that in this school. It's very, very rude. You don't bring me in something I didn't do. I hope for he's the last person who has anything like that this lesson. Ibrahim, eyes this way. Get out of here, man. There should be absolutely no talk. Not to be outdone, Ibrahim's chatting now. Right, there should be zero people talking Why do you have right now. So what did I do? You're talking. I wasn't talking. Okay, now you're answering back, Ibrahim. OK, what could potentially maybe and what could happen to the rainforest? Do we, do we have to have this teacher? Okay. Why? Because, um... Just hold on, Maeve-Anne. Ibrahim, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're on your C3 now. Third so time. No. talking to me! No. Don't argue with me. Off you go. OK, I mean you're in a C1. I don't have to have you as a teacher. OK, thank you, Ibrahim. Off you're, you you're go. You're welcome. But when you're angry, you lose control. And then when you lose control, then situations like this happen when you get a C3 or a C2. Ibrahim is meant to be waiting outside the class, but he seems to have other ideas. I was walking around next to the hall. I was bored. What is this? Ibrahim on tour? Mate, you're not supposed to be here. I should have stayed where the class was. Or there. And not here either. You can't wander the corridors in lesson time for long before you get spotted. And then Mr. Shabir comes out of the hall, I was like, uh oh. Ibrahim, why are you at your lesson? Mr. Webb kicked me out. He just he didn't tell me where to go, he just said, get out. I'm sure that's not an accurate description no, of why you're not in your lesson. No, sir, he said get out. That's it, that's what he said. Okay. He said get out. So what we'll do, a yellow parking now, because we're not going to disturb that lesson. And we don't have the time for me to take you back and have this discussion now during a geography lesson. And then at 3 o'clock, we'll come back and have this conversation with Mr Webb. And you can sit in this classroom here. 
So, it's three o'clock. The lads are meant to be back here for detention. Anyone seen Fareed and Ibrahim? You got detention? I'm not going. I keep... Yeah. I, I wasn't even talking. Are you, are you going to go to detention? No. Uh, boys, you seem to be heading in the wrong direction. Hang on, they're going home. That is the wrong choice, lads. You can't just skip detention. The next morning in form, things are about to get more serious. Mr Shabir wants a word with both boys. Speed up. You know why we're here? As if it wasn't bad enough. So how did you feel yesterday? I didn't yesterday. ask you to speak. I'm not asking you to explain anything. I made it very clear to you. At the end of the day, you go and speak to Mr. Webb. But at three o'clock, you made a decision. And at 20 past three, when I go to see Mr. Webb to see how this conversation was and was everything resolved, what does he tell me? That you did not arrive. It was a bad decision. You should never have left this building until you had resolved this. But you can see how disappointed I am. And both of you, you're going to leave this room and you're going to write a letter of apology. How remorseful and how sorry you are. I'm going to try to behave better. I'm not going to, I'm not going to promise, but... Are you going to try? Yeah, that's what I yeah. said, I'm going to try. Well, you have to. Back on the business project, I've enlisted a little extra teacher power. I went and got us some help. Art teacher Mr Tipping is here to help both classes to create their products. Off you go. Hello, Mr Tipping. Hello. The red team have decided to design calendars, Christmas cards and key rings. The key to a good design is just a few colours. OK. They're nice colours. So what about that? Yeah. No, I've just messed that up. Already. No, you haven't messed it up at all. I'm really proud of that. Woohoo! Look at that. People, look at that. Over in the rival class, the blue team are hard at work. They have decided to make badges. Start with, start with one colour and gradually go through the other colours. Plant pots and mugs. Um, I reckon you could make it up to about there. I'm hoping this project will bring out the best in Ibrahim and Fareed. I'm so excited about this business because it's a lifetime opportunity in no, a way. No. In a way. No. In a way. No. In a way. No. In a way. No. Yeah. Come on, Fareed. I know you care. I feel happy about this project because me and Ibrahim, when we were older, we were we were hoping to open a business, and that business is a restaurant. You're gonna need mass for that. But these boys aren't gonna open any restaurant if they can't stay out of trouble. No Shut up! Shut up and turn around! Um, Ibrahim's getting noisy again. Just sit there, innit? What's wrong? Are you not having a good day? No. Here's an idea, all right? Because I think it's probably going to help you out. Why don't you sit somewhere where you just sat on your own and you can just get on with your work? Yeah? All right. Both Ibrahim and Fareed are finding themselves in trouble these days. Come on, guys. Let's take a seat. And word has got back to their form tutor, Mr Shaw. What do you think is the reason I've had to pull you out of form? Behaviour. have a chat to you about. Behaviour. You guys, I know, are great pals. And I know that when you're doing work together, you can do great work. I've seen you. But I've had so many reports back to me. You watching? Right. I've had so many reports back, your names keep popping up. You guys have got to watch yourselves, OK? Because I know you guys want to stay together, and you can bring out the best in each other. But I think you can also distract each other quite a lot, too. Am I wrong? No. No. You know that teachers will separate you, right? Yeah. 
You guys want to get separated? No. But you guys are going to get separated unless you can sort yourselves out. Is that what you want? No. You look pretty sad about the idea about being separated. I would be too if I'd known someone since year two. What do you think you can actually do to not get separated? Behave and do less talking. Talk less. Come on. Big smiles. Enjoy the rest of the day. No, no crosses, no C2s, because I don't want us to be seeing your parents. We both want to stay in the same class. We don't want to get separated. Like we're a good team. Yeah, I know together. in a way that we can work as a team and probably be the best team together. Yeah, but we need to change. Maybe the business project will show the boys at their best. We'll see later on when the two teams go head to head. It's the weekend before the big sell, and Fareed and Ibrahim have some thinking to do. For the last two years, they've been coming to this boxing club. It's a chance to get rid of some of that extra energy they've got. Right now, the boys have got a lot on their minds. We're getting in trouble these days. I don't know why. It's mostly of my attitude and my behaviour. Before, when I first came to our school, I wasn't like one of them kids who misbehaved. I was good, I was better than now. I want that to change, because I want to get somewhere in life. Come on, lads, you can do this. You've still got each other, right? We're tight as, like, a rope. When you tie something, it's well, like a rope so that's impossible to rip. Just like this, and then it comes off. It'd be a real shame to see these lads split up, so they need to show me what they can do when they work together. Year seven have built their businesses. It's time to see if they can sell their products to the public. Today's the day. Lots of nerves around here this morning. I was worried the most about, like, when we ask somebody something, they're just, like, blank us or they just rude and say, no, no, I don't want to buy any of your stuff. First thing, you need to get customers and make money. And second thing, you've got to beat that team. It's going to be an epic clash for the cash. You need a good boss. You need good customers. You need good employees. Right, you've made products, all right? Now it's time to sell them. Most money wins, all right? Go. The teams have got two hours to battle it out. Who can make the most profit? In the blue corner, we have Ibrahim, Fareed, Nimra, Morgan, Gresh, Mayvand, Namin and Abdul. And in the red corner, we have Wayne, George, Finlay, Alishba, Shanaz, Olivia, Alea, and Roman. Fareed, Ibrahim, I want to see some big things from you today. Today's the day I want to. I want to make myself proud. I make my mama. I want to make my mama proud. Yes. This is mine that I did. Sick. This is mine I did. It looks sick. But right from the off, the blue team have a problem. Oh no. Oh, I missed. This is upside down. I told Nimra to do that. No, One of the mugs has been printed upside down. So what are you going to do about that? I can't sell it. Well, you can sell it. You've got to sell everything. You're going to have to make something up, aren't you? Right, so what are you going to say to the people to come be fed? Not sure. You'd better think of summit, lads, or you're going to look like a right pair of mugs. Over on the red team, Things seem a little disorganised. George, I need you to move, please. Right, can we be listening? At the moment, I'm seeing slight organised chaos, right? I think we need a team leader George. to lead on yes. this. George. Can we agree with George? Right, George. Okay, so we need George. someone on calendars, someone on cards. Branch out now, get selling. Yeah. So George is head of Reds and Morgan is the boss of the Blues. We need to knuckle down and work together because we need to beat them. This was like, oh, come on, people. £1.50 for the mugs. 
bossing everybody around in a good way. Let's sell, sell, sell. One, two, three. And they're off. Where are those customers? You should go to the hill, hill, hill. Let's go to that person. It's like casually, just casually walk. Excuse me. Oh, well, try again. Okay, it doesn't look like they want to come. This is harder than it looks. I thought it'd just be good to a person, blah, 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 good to a shop, go to a shop, buy. But it's not. It's like, go to a person, oh, yeah, we'll come back after, oh, yeah, we'll come back after, oh, yeah. And you're like... Meanwhile, Wayne and Finley are drumming up business for the Reds. Their plan? Use a bit of charm. Excuse me, have you had a nice day today? We had a nice day today. So far? Well, we've only just arrived. Oh, oh we're selling uh, Christmas cards and calendars. And, oh, uh, um, Do you know, all my Christmas cards are written out, sorry, ready to post. No, that's it, uh, that's it. Uh... <laughs> Maybe we need some fresh charm. What we did is we uh, chased some people and, like, uh, would you like to... Oh, can we interest you? Would you like to buy a very nice day? Back on the blue team. Women with a prom. Hello, would you like to come to our store? We're selling mugs and baggies and stuff. We need to go get people to come to our store quick. <laughs> oh, they're very nice. Huh? They're all made by us. What time much is it? £1.50. And that started a surge of customers for the blues. Thank you. Ka ching Good at your maths, aren't you? Yeah. Totally impressed. They're amazing. Really smiling, lovely faces. And I reckon Morgan's got a bit of a secret weapon in Nimra. How much, my darling? Um, um, mugs and pampas are £1.50. Thank you. We kind of had an advantage because Nimra's like so cute. Here you go. Thank you, sweetheart. To get the customers, uh, I tried like using a squeakier voice than I usually have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a good day. So then like, they'd be like, oh, she's so cute. Let's go have a look at their store. And then there's this plant pot that says, owls will always love you. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. Right, let's see how much I've got here. Back in red, I reckon Wayne is the secret weapon round here. Calendar's 50% off, only 50 p now. Wayne's got a very loud voice that people down in the food court can hear. Oh, something like that. You're like from, from my local butchers, man. But the loud approach is working. The Reds are making money. We're not doing that bad, actually. And even getting compliments. I just wanted to say how well behaved and well managed your children. Thank you. Um, and I'm careful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We appreciate that. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Warms my heart, that does. Both teams are doing our school proud. Back with the Blues, it looks like Farid and Ibrahim are in their element. So we have a wing that's different colours. We have cookies that are near Christmas. We have an arrow. You're a good salesman, aren't you? We're sick at selling. No, 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 we're awesome at selling. But can Ibrahim take on the ultimate challenge, selling the upside-down love mug? And we've done a love one because when you're... When you're in love, it's upside-down because when you're... In, it is, look. When, when you're in love, when you, you concentrate on that person and your brain just goes off and it goes all crazy. So we thought of doing it upside down because when you're in love, it's all crazy. Look at that one, that looks yeah. like that one. I, did that. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. We are low Thank you very much. Thank you. I did it. I got her to buy this crazy love upside down mug. I never thought I'd do that. I feel proud. I feel really proud. Genius, I'm staggered. Well done, mate. Guys, last five minutes. Get those last little bits sold. Go. It's five minutes left. Woo! He wins for 25p. 50% off. I just started shouting like 50% off, 99% off. Come on, year seven. The seconds are ticking away. So what you're saying is you want me to have two. If you want, if you want, one pound for one and one pound fifty for two. Yeah, I got enough. 
Yeah, seven last minute. Last minute, get those last little bits done. Christmas call for ten periods. Ten period for two. There's just time for one last sale. Huh? Careful, Nimra. Last minute, Christmas. Three, two, ah! one. Stop selling. Thank you. After all that hard work, we're going to find out who's made the most profit. Will it be the red team or the blue team? It's been counted. Double counted, because we saw him had counted it first time. It was very, very close. At first, when I saw their box and there was notes, just notes, oh, I was like, no, I was like yo, they're going to win. This team, I loved how you went out all right, and you took that amongst yourselves to go out and get customers in. Wayne, you did an absolute brilliant job. You did the majority of stuff for your team. I shall raise the goblet of the winner. And the winner is... Stop it, sir. That team. Yeah! So the Blues take it. The public spent £138.09 on their product, which costs £74 to make, so that's a profit of £64.09. The Reds earned £105.91, having spent £45, which equals £60.91 profit. And if we add together those profits, it makes a whopping £125 towards our charity. I love good maths. And as well as that, we've seen Ibrahim and Farid bring the best out of each other. I think that what makes us good sellers is our friendship. Because without our friendship, how would we work together? No one team. Ibrahim did really good. He was like, he was like, he saw an upside down mug. I think we've gone very far this term, like from the beginning to the end. I'm proud of you. No, I'm proud of you. No, I'm proud of you. No, 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 I'm proud. No, 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 no. I'm proud of you, Mom. No, 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 no. I'm proud of both of us. Yeah. Next time, we travel to Kenya. <laughs> I was scared. To see how our fundraising is changing lives. I don't want to leave. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello. Good. Mom, I'm in an interview. Yeah, I'm being filmed right now. You want some proof? You want some proof? Yes, I'm in school.